Workflow is defined as the processes that one or more people in any organization are engaged in to accomplish a specific objective. The possibilities are limitless and are associated with day-to-day -day activities, as well as improvement initiatives like total productive maintenance, lean, health, safety, and environmental processes, and the list goes on. Standardized work processes can be used to coordinate organizational or departmental activities and provide for the optimal level of automation to properly manage these processes and people and systems who carry them out. Think about the various activities the people are involved in on a daily basis as they do their jobs on the manufacturing floor. Some activities are routine and perhaps even done on a schedule. Other activities are in reaction to problems and issues that occur in the production process and need to be resolved with specific processes and standard operating procedures. The net result of using a workflow tool to manage your business processes is to reduce errors and defects in the processes to reduce variation in how these processes are carried out, as well as reduce cycle times for processes and individual tasks. If you think about it, your people are involved in a myriad of activities on a daily basis, and every step each person takes impacts the bottom line of the enterprise. They are either involved in routine things like an incoming material inspection, or they are reacting to problems like a quality issue or a compliance situation. Often in these situations, it takes multiple people working in a coordinated fashion to accomplish the task at hand, and don't forget that in a timely manner is often a requirement. Often this coordinated effort requires people to have the right information in order to decide. Data must be captured, forms filled out, managerial approvals obtained, and all these things documented for future reference. There are certainly challenges and hurdles when it comes to getting people to work together in a coordinated, standardized, and optimized way. Workflow tools can be used to improve these process management issues. Let's work through a real example of a workflow process from an end-user perspective. What you see here is the process layout in the Workflow Process Designer from the software tool itself. The scenario is a possible water leak or break in a clean water distribution system, and you can see the individual task that must be completed either by a person or the system itself here in the diagram. We also see a list of actors. These are people who are involved in the workflow process. We have Joe, who is an operator, Jane in customer service, Jim in permitting, and Bob, who is the general manager. Here is how the workflow should play out. Note the green start in the top left represents the workflow trigger which comes directly from the control system into the workflow process. The first action is the system extracts information from the control system and sends a message to the management team including that information. They could receive the message from their email or even a text message. At the same time, the operator in charge of the process is sent the same information on a form and is asked to input more information onto the form, such as whether they think there is a confirmed break or only a suspected break. Note that if the operator does not respond in a timely manner, an escalation notice is sent to the management. The completed form is then submitted, and the operator's answers and other data on the form are evaluated by the system logic and further notices are sent to the appropriate people, such as customer service or permitting, to continue the process. Note also that this data is being written to a database for compliance reporting. 